Hey guys and welcome to the Brick Box and on this edition we'll be doing a scary review of the Monster Fighters set 9467 the Ghost Train as you can see it is a pretty awesome looking set and it does have a lot of glow in the dark features and it does show you that on the box we'll have a good look at the box in a second uh, before we start I will say I did try to pick up the glow of the glow in the dark pieces I turned all the lights off I put the camera on but the camera would not pick that up so unfortunately I can't show you that so big boo for that anyway guys this set is ages 8 to 14 and it is made up of 741 pieces with of course I've just said those very nice glow in the dark pieces included <clears throat> this set will cost you in the UK £59.99 and pence. And for you guys over there, overseas in the USA, you're going to have to pay $79.99 for this bad boy. But for the guys in Europe, it's €79.99, which sounds a little bit high to me. This does come with five minifigures. Now, three of those are the ghosts. Now, all these ghosts do glow in the dark, so that's really, really cool. Uh, it comes with two of the, the Monster Fighters uh, Hunters figures and the one is called Frank Rock and the one is called Anne Lee you can see those two figures there in the aeroplane on the right ok then guys so I know I said I couldn't show you the train glowing in the dark but I've just noticed that when I turned the lights off from recording the train was glowing immensely so the lights have charged the glowing the dark pieces up I will turn the light off now and I will show you what the train looks like in the dark. Boom. There you go. That's what it looks like. There's the front of the train. That piece looks pretty awesome. That scary face. There is the flame with the glow in the dark piece in the middle. You have a glow in the dark rod there. And I'll bring it round. You can see the ghosts. How cool do those ghosts look? When they are glowing in the dark they look awesome. And then we have, I'll try and go as slow as possible guys so as not to blur the video. But there we have all these pieces on the top. That glow in the dark. Let's bring this round to the back a little. And there again at the back, that ghost on that carriage. But let's bring it out again. And there you can see. It's starting to fade a little now, the lights do charge it up. But uh, it does start to fade a little after a second. It's not completely dark anyway. But there you go, that will give you an idea of what it looks like when it's glowing in the dark, in the complete darkness. Okay then guys, so here is the front of the box, and I'll just bring this in a little. And it does show you, as you can see on there, the front of the train does glow in the dark, that face, which is pretty cool, it's got that scary face on it. Uh, I think this is really, really cool. This green flame that comes up at the front, that has also got a bit of a glow in the dark centre to it. All these ghosts there, as you can see, all those glow in the dark. And you do get these stud fittings as well, all across, and those all glow in the dark. And on the back of the box, we have quite a few pictures illustrating different parts of the set. Oh, and there, that gives you a picture of it glowing in the dark. And uh, as you can see from there, it does look really, really cool, especially when you've got the ghosts in all the carriages as well. So on to the train, the main part of this set. Uh, before I start that, I will say this set does come with a brick separator, which seems to be a very common theme lately, and uh, a theme I am actually liking. It's always nice to have a brick. Uh, this does come with two manuals there, as you can see, to uh, aid you in the build of this set. Now, let's just run this train past the camera, so you can see. These wings do move as well, look. I'll move it a bit faster, that one's not moving very well, but if I push down it will move better. So those move up and down, and then you get the centre carriage there, which is a cage, and then these wings move up and down as well on these. What I'll do is I'll break this set up into pieces, and we'll do it piece by piece. Let's start with the main engine, and uh, pretty cool, nice wheels on this. And we also have the front of the train, looks pretty scary, pretty awesome, 
and I'll say that does glow in the dark a couple of studs there and this great designed ball bar section at the front looks pretty evil then we have these uh, serpent like pieces fitted to the side and we have these spikes which fit into the side and these are a little bit of a pain sometimes getting them right because a lot of these do spin so they will take whichever direction they want to and if you want them uniform all in the same position it doesn't always work like that because they will keep moving around we have this bell section in the middle there and this really cool green flame I love that flame we've seen this flame before in different sets but never in green and as you can see in the middle of that we have that uh, other green colour and that is the glow in the dark section of that here we have the main engine room and I've got a ghost in there we'll just take that ghost out and the top section does come off got some droid arms around the sides there and some bones and that is the main part of the engine and there is the fire and we have some flame pieces in there just to imitate the fire and that will just close easily so not much more going on in there we do have these window sections around the side and that roof section will just clip back on quite easily let's put the engine to one side and we'll get on to the next part uh, these do clip on and off easily they are joined with these pieces there and they just fit into these little socket areas via that ball joint um, these now all these wheels towards the back are rubber so these are rubber ties that you put on which are solid and they do look like they don't look like a really cool design these wheels do I do like those and we have uh, these little spike sections again this front part does pivot and it's for the ghost to hold on to but the ghost will come out and then that will push back so you can have it like that when the ghost is in or backwards like that when he's out and it's got a bone and a couple of drawed arms these are glow in the dark studs there as well with some um, translucent green studs as well added to there and we have these wings which as I've just showed you do move not quite got them in rhythm but they do move via these grey cog sections uh, not much more there really we've seen all the action parts of that just a basic two stud make up inside for the ghost to sit in well, that's pretty much it for that carriage and then let's move on to the next and it is the cage carriage again with these fittings to interlock the train together now we do have a, an abundance of these translucent stud pieces on the top uh, so not translucent glow in the dark let's get it right translucent so this does look pretty cool at the top there when it's in the dark and it's glowing now these cage doors are quite mm, difficult to put together not too difficult but uh, can be quite annoying to put together let's say but there you go there's the inside of that and they do, they are quite effective these once they're put together as you can see they do give off the the, uh, the right look for the monster set and uh, not much more to say about that they do pivot in and out and we've got these translucent studs there for the doors a lot of these green translucent studs going on all the way around and again the rubber wheels with the plastic inner on that wheel and there's the top so that's it for the cage quite simple really but uh, very very effective and it does look pretty cool and then again at the back the last one it's another one of these exactly the same as the one I've just showed you again the wings will move but it is exactly the same as the one previously shown in these monster fight sets you get a moonstone I'm pretty sure in every set and this is the one that comes with this set it's got the ghost on and it is a translucent blue one and they are the moonstones this is what they are called and uh, pretty cool looking things really and each one will come with the relevant print on the front depending on what set it comes this has got a ghost because it is made up of lots of ghosts and that just goes on the top of that train there ok guys next up is the airplane and this does have a vacuum weapon for sucking up the ghosts and that is this barrel you can see there 
and uh, we have these translucent green house pieces that run through that. Now we have seen this recently in another set and that was the Lex Power Armor set. So if you do think you recognize this, that is the set that these were featured in very recently. Uh, before I start having a look at this aeroplane, I will just say that the train that we've just seen, it does measure 19 inches long when it's all put together. It's four inches wide and it's four inches high at the highest point. So it's quite a long piece that one. The, this plane measures eight inches long from front to back. It is eight inches wide from wing tips and it is three inches high to the highest point. Now these are the two minifigures that are featured with the plane and these are the hunters, the monster hunters, which we'll have a look at very shortly. Those are the two. Let's have a look at the plane. There is a chain hanging off the side and that is for the, that lady hunter to hang off. She hangs off that and this hovers over the plane and she tries to catch the ghosts while she's hovering. How she ever, how she's going to catch the ghosts, I'm not sure. But uh, this will be the main weapon, like we've just had a look. And that is the ghost sucking, the ghost vacuum. And uh, let's just break this apart. Not much in there, actually. If I want to break this apart, I'll have to take that off. But there you go, there's nothing inside there. And that just clips back together. And then that will go back on there. That went quite well, considering that could have gone very, very wrong. There we go, guys. We have the fin at the back of the aeroplane. The barrel for catching the ghosts. We have some translucent green-tipped dual flick missiles there. So these two will just flick out. The plane does have these conical vacuum sections at the end of the hose for sucking up ghosts which is very very useful when you are a ghost hunter I would have thought. We have the propeller at the front which of course as you would expect does spin round and we have this engine part as well which is made up of I think it's eight clipped on parts with studs on the end and we have pistols there three and three six in total which just imitate the engine coming out the side so those are just your normal pistol weapons for that. We have these rubber landing gear wheels as well. Uh, we don't have landing gear to the rear of this. I thought there might have been a small wheel, which would have come in handy, but there you go. You could suppose you could add that on. Uh, plastic inside of the wheel, rubber on the outside. Uh, we have the cockpit section. It's just basic enough for the minifigure to sit in with one lever. And we have the translucent grey window section but that is pretty much it for that guys a solid looking plane really very very nice and uh, looks really really cool especially with this ghost sucking vacuum machine on it it does look quite outstanding okay guys so your first minifigure is the ghost the glow in the dark ghost and I will just show you the one there are three of these but they are all identical and it does look pretty cool guys, I do love the face area, that looks pretty awesome. And there you can see, this ghost part will just slip over the top of the normal minifigure body and leg section. Now inside there we just have plain white minifigure body and legs and a black head. And then once that clips over the top, it transforms into this really cool looking ghost. And we have a bit of detail to the back of that as well. Kind of like a sheet effect. So it's kind of uh, having a joke with itself that one. With that effect on that. And at the front as well. So yeah, there's your ghost guys. And your next minifigure is Frank Rock. One of the monster hunters. And uh, wow, lots of print going on on this guys. Look at all the print on the legs. They've uh, Lego have really, really done a good job on the print with this one. Lots of metallic -y silver parts to the finish of this minifigure and the jacket looks really really cool as well. The facial expression looks cool with the glasses and he does have these jaw wielding pistols that he comes with and this black hairpiece. And as we spin to the back you'll see the detailing print does carry on round to the back of that figure 
and he has this really cool slick hair that uh, comes to the back of his head and then he does come with two facial expressions which is this more damaged worried look with all these uh, scuff marks on his face and then we come back round to the cool looking cool guy look and lastly we have Anne Lee the second monster hunter and she comes well kitted out with all this weaponry she has the bow there and then she has two arrows one that she's holding and one in her hair which does look very much like the cave woman that we've had in the minifigure series same kind of hairpiece but the cave woman had the bone this one's got the arrow and um, we do have quite a lot of detail to this figure as well not as much as the previous one but there is a lot of detail there to the legs and uh, the torso as well and round the back we also have this detailing which is a corset that's why it's coming in so much it is a corset design which is red and if we take this hair piece off you'll see to the back she has this other facial expression and a pretty nasty looking scar on that face I must say and uh, she does have it on the other face as well so this lady has been through a lot of wars with monsters I would say looking at the scar on her face so to close this review I will start with the writing of this set and as always I will start with the younger guys ages 5 to 12 this is going to get a very solid 9 out of 10 for you uh, lots of playability with this set and it just looks really really cool and the best thing it does glow in the dark so that's an extra bonus feature for the younger guys as I know you will appreciate that uh, it didn't get a 10 because there are a few pieces that fall off easy otherwise it would have got a solid 10 uh, for the teenagers 13 to 19 years of age it's going to get an 8 out of 10 for the teenagers as there are some very appealing parts to this set that will keep the teenagers coming back uh, the train in itself is uh, quite an attractive thing and uh, for the AFOLs ages 20 plus it's going to get a 6 out of 10 um, the only thing I think that would keep the AFOLs coming back to this is the train uh, the train collectors and there are a lot of AFOLs who do collect the, the train sets only um, they may want to add this to their train collection so that's why I've scored the 6 out, six out of 10 for the AFOLs now the build difficulty rating, I've changed it slightly, instead of doing beginner, um, experienced and advanced, it's a little bit confusing, so I'm just going to do 0 to 10, 0 being easy and 10 being very hard. So the build difficulty rating for this is going to be a 6, uh, quite high you might think, just over an average rating, but the reason it gets a 6 is because there are a few fiddly parts to this set mainly the cage bit in the middle with all the the uh, droid arms and the bones those are quite fiddly to put together and there are a lot of little pieces on this that are uh, a little bit harder to put together than a normal set let's say so that's why it got a six anyway guys that's it for this review more monster fighters reviews to come so please stay tuned for that scary 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 I know but Anyway guys, we'll see you on the next video, but until then, brick on.